Well, we haven't got our red Speedos out yet. We're waiting for Christmas Day for that. It's like great to have you in studio <laughs> again. Thanks. Now, clearly you can see the guy's in great shape, but what you might not know is that he is a classically trained dancer. Now, yeah. of course, that, that means you've got to keep your body as limber and injury-free as possible because, I mean, your livelihood depends on it, but you're not going to be able to go out there and rehearse the amount that you have to go out there and perform on the level that you have to if your body is not primed for that. How do you keep yourself in shape from a stretching perspective? Um, look, I always thought of my, any form of exercise just by warming up the spine. Um, because at the end of the day, if your spine isn't warm, nothing is going to work. work exactly. And the older you get, the difficult, the more difficult it becomes. I can see, I'll help you through that 30, bro. I'll help you through that 30, dude. All right, so we're going to be so, warming up our spines. Where do we start? Yeah, right. So you're just going to stand your, with your feet parallel. Cool. Bend your knees. And you're going to keep them bent. Now you're going to roll down very, very slowly. Um, and make sure that your butts are bad of all in angles. I don't know, man. <laughs> That you, uh, this is how I'm going to roll down in eight counts, right? So, but okay. you start with your neck, your head, and ever slowly. Okay, nice and gradually. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be an exercise. You're just relaxing right into the muscles until you get as far down as possible. But you got to make sure that your knees stay, stay bent. bent. Otherwise, I mean, you're going to start stretching. And yeah, otherwise, in your head, you just hurt take something. over. Right, then all you do is you roll up slowly again. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. And a good way, I think, is to keep your, your arms parallel to your legs so that you know that your spine is rolling like that, that you're not kind of bending over. And you keep doing it very slowly, for like four times, three times. And of course, a warm up like this is a great way to get your head into the game before you're training. Get yourself focused. And you know how it goes, sometimes you get to the gym and just too lazy to warm up. And two days later, you realize that um, <laughs> oh, something is sore. I wonder why. I tweaked something, yeah. Let's <laughs> right, so roll down one more time until your uh, hands touch the floor. Great. Right, now just relax the shoulders. Make sure you, your neck's completely relaxed. You've got to be able to say no with your head. <laughs> Ever slightly. And no say more, yes. No more. No for no end. <laughs> yes, let's not warm up. Right, from there you're gonna put your hands onto the floor. Okay. On your fingertips. Put most of your weight on the front of the, of the foot. Okay. And you're gonna straighten the knees ever so slightly. You just cool. gotta feel a bit of a twitch, but not too much. But you gotta make sure your neck's relaxed. There's no tension in the neck whatsoever, and you can release the knees. And you can stretch the knees once again. Oh, lovely oh, stuff. Especially at 8 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> well, well, you guys oh, work through this and loosen up those spines ahead of your training session. I'm going to keep it going. You guys can move back inside. We continue our Christmas-inspired goodies here on Expresso. Kat is standing by. Dude, this is a great stretch, bro. I'm going to teach it to you mm. after the show. Ah. Wake up and work out with Expresso. Dressed by Pro Action Sportswear and Pineapple Activewear. Exclusive to Edgar's and Edgar's Active.